And this is the astrological forecast for the sign of Capricorn for 2024. Capricorn, along with your opposite sign of Cancer, you're one of the most fortunate signs to be in 2024. I know a lot of you are just going to go, you wouldn't believe the year I've just had. And I'm going, yes, I would. I'm your astrologer. I do understand, to a certain degree, the pressures a lot of you have been under. And to be honest, a very few of you are still under a great deal of pressure over 2024. But the vast majority of you are going to have a much more stable year. And some of you are actually going to thrive. So let's crunch the numbers. The sun will move into Capricorn in 2024 on the 21st of December at 2 minutes to 8 in the evening UK time. Now, this is where it gets weird. This happens once every 10 years where you get either two new moons in Capricorn in a year or two full moons. This year, you've got both. There are four moons in Capricorn in 2023, 2024. There is a new moon in Capricorn Sun and Moon together in Capricorn on the 11th of January. There is also a new moon in Capricorn on the 30th of December. There is a full moon in Capricorn on the 22nd of June. And there is also a full moon in Capricorn on the 21st of July. So two, two, for two full moons, two new moons... And when you consider that you've had 14, 15 years of Pluto and during which time Saturn's been with you and Jupiter and so on, it seems to me that 2024 straight away with two new moons and two full moons is very much a year of both a lot of endings and a lot of new beginnings. Neither of which can be seen as positive or negative, but merely as statements of fact. Mercury will move into Capricorn on the 14th of January and stay there until the 5th of February. Venus will move into Capricorn on the 23rd of January and stay there until the 17th of 16th of February. And Mars will move into Capricorn on the 4th of January and stay there until the 13th of February. So straight away it seems that much of January and the first half of February is a much more dynamic, projective, assertive, active time. Mars is with you in your sign, so you're going to be able to get a lot done. Jupiter is smiling. Now let, yeah, let's deal with Jupiter first. Jupiter is smiling on most of you. If you're one of those Capricorns born from the 28th of December onwards, then between New Year and the end of May, Jupiter in the sky is going to be trining your sun. Now, this is not a big deal, but it does bring an element of fortune. It brings an element of growth, as long as you don't overreach yourself. And it brings situations where, yeah, fortune, happiness, joy potential for travel. None of this is overstated or over the top, but it's nice. Pluto is still going to be visiting Capricorn. He's going to leave Capricorn on the 21st of January and move into Aquarius. But he will step back into Capricorn later in the year, briefly. He'll step back into Capricorn on the 1st of September, briefly, for about two and a half months. And he'll leave Capricorn finally, forever and permanently and never return for at least another 230 years, really, um, on December the 19th, uh, November the 19th, 2024. So during this time, Pluto will still be on top of the sun of those of you born at the very, very end of Capricorn. So if you're one of those Capricorns born around the 20th of January, maybe the 19th, then yes, Pluto is still on top of your sun. But it's only 
3% of you have still got that going on. Neptune. Well, Neptune's going to be sextiling the sun. Uh, sextiling the sun of those of you born from the 16th to the 18th of January from New Year through to mid-March. And then from mid-March onwards, Neptune's going to be sextiling the sun of those of you born 18th, 19th, 20th of January. And this is great because it's going to bring a lot more capacity for artistry, spirituality, empathy, compassion, kindness, art, music, your relationship with the divine. However, you see the divine as being should become more of a interesting time. I love it. I love it. Uranus is also smiling on you. From New Year to late mid-late May, Uranus is continuing its trine to the sun of those of you born from the 10th to the 14th of January, where the ongoing opportunities for more stimulus, for new ways of dealing with old problems, for uh, interesting opportunities to, take, to, to experiment with new ways of dealing with things, this is ongoing. And then from late May onwards to the end of the year, this is going to move into the lives of those of you born from the 15th to the 18th of January. This is to be welcomed. This brings a fresh look at things, the opportunity for a fresh start and a new beginning. Saturn is smiling on you. How good is this? Those of you born from the 25th of December through to the 3rd of January, well, between, between New Year and um, late March, Saturn will be sextiling your sun. This is going to bring the opportunity to be a lot more disciplined, bring a lot more structure in a short period of time. And if you're born between the 25th of December and the 3rd of January, then in the first three months of the year, you can get a lot done. You'll have a lot more... Not so much enthusiasm, but a lot more drive, motivation, clear boundary, clear structures, and you should get results. From late March onwards, Saturn then sextiles the sun of those of you born from the 4th to the 10th of January. And this is also a very good opportunity for you to then spend nine months in building something with a solid root base and foundation for the long-term future. So, you know, with Jupiter trining all of your suns or most of your suns in the first five months of the year, Saturn working well with you all year, Uranus and Neptune working well with you all year, Pluto almost completely finished with you, and two new moons and two full moons. This is going to be an eventful year. Now, look, Capricorn does not have a reputation for being joyful and all the fun of the fair and, uh, uh, you know, upbeat. It's much more dour, hardworking, structured, loyal, disciplined. 2024 is going to be different. Obviously, those values still apply. But what I want to get across to you is that 2024 for you is a year. You only get one of these years every 20, 25 years. There's a lot of opportunity out there this year. Use it or lose it. You will see windows of opportunity opening up for you to make a difference both in your lives and in the lives of the world and people around you. And it's not going to be through some magnificent event. It's going to be through discipline focused hard work in a new way, revolutionizing your boundaries, changing some of the structures from concrete and steel into rubber and elastic. Make it happen because you, it's not normally this good. As far as 2024 goes, Capricorn, have a great year.